folks, it's time to kick it old school. Today, I got Mingo here helping me out because I have a truck, but not a truck that works. <laughs> I went and bought that piece of poop and it uh, doesn't work. I sprayed oil all over uh, the whole bottom of the truck, so not sure what's wrong with it. But anyways, I've been slacking off on taking this transmission. Um, it's ready to go now. As you can see, and uh, we're gonna go drop it off at FedEx. And uh, I don't know how good we did on the strapping. I probably should have pushed that over, but oh wow, it's on there now. Ball. Where? Where did it go? We'll go get it. Go get the ball. But anyways, this is what the rear cradle looks like without a rear end or I guess that's all it carries but the transmission goes connected to the differential. You're gonna have to get into one of these. I have to get new tie rods or end rods or whatever they're called and so I need two and a ball joint. I tried getting it out without being lazy but I'm gonna have to go get the right tool. But anyways Yes, that will be it for right now. Did you get your ball? Did you get your ball? Don't play on that because you're going to get splinters. Uh-oh. Anyways, we'll turn you guys in when we get to uh, FedEx, I believe. Yeah, FedEx. See you guys out there. That's what I said. Son, don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. Hey. Shipping at FedEx sucks. If you guys are going to do any type of shipping, make sure you call their headquarters before going to their facility. Apparently they got people inside of the facility that can't do anything as far as doing paperwork, billing, 
or even trying to deal with you or help you with as far as shipping goes. So by all means, you're hearing it from me. Avoid FedEx altogether. I've shipped and gotten stuff delivered to my house through different companies. But FedEx right now is really pissing me off. I understand it's uh, almost Easter or whatever, but... Kind of sounds like, it feels like they're just too worried about going home than to actually help a feller out. If you're anything like me or like anybody else, I'm sure you'd probably go to the extreme, not extreme lengths, you'd go the extra mile to make sure that whoever your customer is or whoever you're trying to help out gets whatever they're trying to deliver at least on the road or figure it out. Well, these people just clock out and just take off. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a job or whatever. Hey. Tired? See, even he's tired. <laughs> even he wants to take off already. He's, he doesn't like it here. See, like that guy going to work, I bet you he don't want to be here. He don't want to be here. That guy driving that truck right there, he don't want to be here. I'm pretty sure there's probably a person, two or three ladies in here that probably like working here. For the most part, there's one thing that I've learned. People hate their job. Me, on the other hand, I love my job. My dispatcher, he, can take, he gets us taken care of. We get the job done at the end of the day regardless. But I guess that doesn't apply to everybody else. I wish everybody else at least had that type of mentality or, or standards. Okay, we gotta get the job done. We're gonna go the extra mile. We're gonna make sure that whatever it is somebody's trying to do or get done, hey, maybe we'll help them out however we can. We're not just gonna say, oh, I can't help you. As far as my experience right now with FedEx, it sucks. <laughs> Anybody watches this that works for FedEx, at least try to pretend to enjoy your job. I'm not trying to tell you to bend over backwards or do something you're not supposed to but at least try and pretend like you're enjoying your job you're down getting you're getting paid for it at the end of the day it's not like we're here trying to take money out of your pocket moral of the story is customer is always right I've worked customer service before and that's one thing I've learned but I guess that doesn't apply here <laughs> FedEx big middle finger this one right here see it I'm not gonna show it to you but Metal finger to FedEx, shake my head. And here he is coming back. <laughs> See? Customer is always right. Check it out. That damn lady on the front counter. Metal finger to that lady. Wow, check out Cardinal. Uh, yeah, check out Cardinal's meal. Shit. Here it goes again. What happened, bud?
right here, look.